Hi, my name is Danette Martinez. And I'm Nathan Campos. And we participated in a documentary on schools that change communities by the filmmaker Bob Glenner. The film explores the ideas of Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal and how we applied that to our communities. This film will be aired on Thursday, January 3rd at 7 p.m. on local PBS stations. We'd like you to tune in and see the Video Academy in action. Now here's a short trailer. In Watsonville, California, a farming community of 50,000 people located an hour's drive from Silicon Valley, only 50% of the population has a high school degree. The city also has a 25% unemployment rate. Faced with these and other challenges, Watsonville High School developed several interdisciplinary academies to focus student interest on new careers, as well as better engage them in traditional subject matter. What we're saying today is that you're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. So what we're going to do in this class is we're going to look at some of the conditions that existed during the Great Depression. And then we're going to take that eye and we're going to put it to Watsonville, California. And we're going to see what are the issues that they had back then that we still have today. And what can we do as a classroom to re reflect on it, to think about it, to create a program, to create a new deal for our community. The Video Academy combines English, social studies, science, and media production classes. This year, its 65 11th grade students will, for the first time, address community problems with students producing short documentaries and writing in-depth papers, which they hope will help the community solve the many issues it faces. Do you know what a fumigant is? It's a gas, and they put it into the soil, and they cover it with those plastic wraps. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the whole field covered up with plastic wraps? Yeah. So why they're doing that is they're inserting the gas, the fumigant methyl bromide, so that it doesn't escape out. I have a lot of problems por la cosecha que, pues lo que está pasando ahorita con los inmigrantes y hay un tipo de problema. What's the biggest economic challenge that Watsonville is facing today? The um, educational level here in, Wat in Watsonville is directly tied to our our businesses coming to our uh, coming to our city because they see the educational um, attainment level is really low. So it's impacting our, uh, a lot of big companies from coming here. Experience taught me that being out in the community and actually talking to people and listening to their opinions actually has a greater effect than just learning about it in class. It actually lets us uh, see the, the community's true colors, per se. Um, rather than just hearing about a problem and you know letting it go in one ear and come out the other, we actually kind of get it, we actually kind of get it into our heads that you know, there is a problem here. We need to address it and we need to help fix it.